Hey everyone, I just got done with my second clinical skills encounter or patient encounter. It went well. The patient gave me four pieces of advice, which I thought were really helpful. Um, this one was kind of tough because the hypothetical patient lost her sister, and so when she brought that up, I kind of uh, faltered for a bit, but I got back on track. And so now that that's over, we have an exam on Wednesday and then another exam on Friday. And so, yeah. Just trying to show you guys a bit of the path I take to go home. I'm probably going to speed this up in iMovie, but here is the infamous staircase. There's some music coming from over there. I'm not sure who's playing it, but I mean it is uh, e almost evening on a Friday, so it kind of makes sense. So yeah, here it is, the staircase. I still haven't figured out, is it staircase, stairwell, stairway? I don't know, but this is the path I take to go home. And yeah, so this week has been pretty long. We had an exam on Tuesday. And then we started oncology, and so next Wednesday, like I said, we're going to have our oncology exam, and then next Friday we're going to have our heme onc or hematology oncology final. And so I got to get some studying done this weekend, and yeah, uh, I also had grief group on Wednesday of this week. It was really nice to talk to 20 year olds about their experiences with loss and trauma and grief. Um, it really helped me realize that there are a lot of people who are dealing with grief and everything that comes along with it. So it's really nice to share our stories and I'm excited to see where it goes. And yeah, so here I am. Here's the signs. And I'm heading home so I can relax, uh, eat dinner, and then buckle down and study. So yeah. For anyone who's going through work, school, anything else, um, you got this. I got back to my car. There's kind of a ring from where I was wearing eyeglasses, but it's okay. Uh, they didn't fog up as much as they did last time. They also didn't fall off my face, which was nice, because I was wearing lab glasses. And so... Now I'm going to go home. Before I do that, I wanted to share what my patient said to me. So she said I was pretty kind and empathetic and warm, um, which are nice qualities to have when you're dealing with um, elderly patients. So I thought that was really nice of her to say. Um, she also reminded me to ask the patient what name they prefer to be called instead of assuming, which I thought was great advice. And she also said I could speed things up a bit because I tend to get carried away and want to ask all the details, um, which might not leave room for the physical when we get to that. So yeah, those are the things that she said. And now I'm going to drive home and attempt to study for two exams next week. Thanks for watching. You got this. So today's... So today's October 21st, 2020, my 
Hematology Oncology Final is tomorrow, October 22nd. I'm currently walking to my patient-centered care course. I just finished my PCC course and now I'm walking back to the parking lot to drive my car home. 2020年最, Everyone, we just got to Great Clips and I'm cutting my hair. Yay! Yay!